The battle line between the Conservative Party, Colin Craig, that leader, and former board member John Stringer appears to be over for now. Mr Stringer quits from his self-appointed position as acting chair and board member over the weekend. So other Conservatives dead in the water. John Stringer, Christchurch based, joins me now. Anne's good evening to you. Good evening, Chris. Why'd, why'd you quit? Well, I thought it was important to maintain the neutrality of the Conservative Party board. It's not really fair for me to speak out against Colin Craig while I'm chairman of the board, which represents all the membership. So I felt, let's step back in the interim, and I'll speak freely about the nonsense that's going on behind the scenes. So here's your chance. You, you quit because you want to say more about Colin Craig. Why? Why, why now? And what, what else do you want to say? Well, Colin Craig's not being truthful. There are a number of falsehoods being perpetrated. The, one of the really significant things is that Colin Craig has been suspended from the party, yet is using the confidential party database to write letters to members defaming me and others. He's done that three times now and that will be subject to a complaint to the Privacy Commission. So that's obviously a major concern for you. What else is it about uh, Mr Craig? Because I would have thought his political career is almost over. Well this comes back to the central concern that the board had right at the beginning, that Colin Craig has no political acumen or any judgement. And after all this nonsense over the last two weeks, Colin Craig still thinks he can lead the Conservative Party having resigned, having come off the board and having been kicked out of the party. I mean, he doesn't seem to have any awareness that his political uh, currency is bankrupt. Couldn't you have still said this and, and, and remained the chair? No, I don't think that would have been fair. I think it would have compromised the ability of the board to work with the party secretary and the membership going forward. Who's on the board now? I mean, is anybody left? Yeah, there are four, four current board members and other senior members of the party have put their hands up to come on the board, be nominated, and to flesh out the board even more. I'm prepared to come back, but at the moment I think it's best. I'm the only voice speaking out against Colin Craig. I'll take the heat, I'll take the hits, but let's let the board carry on and function with due process. Now, is it true you appointed yourself as the chair? No, no, that's not true. I was the only member of the board standing. I was elected through to 2016 and I de facto became the chairman of the board. Because there was no one else around? Well, Brian Dobbs resigned six o'clock the night before. Didn't tell me, didn't tell me that Lawrence Day had resigned. I went to the board meeting as scheduled and I gathered those senior party officials to come and reconstitute the board and go forward. I mean, you say you've, uh, uh, the reason why you resigned is so you can speak out about Collins. So let's just go back to that. So he's been using membership data database to, to what? To spread what? Well he's written uh, a letter about me to the entire party membership. Uh, on Saturday he put a ballot out only to select members. All the people who've criticised Colin have been deleted and they haven't got a ballot saying please come back Colin. I mean that's been distributed using the party database. Now that is absolutely wrong. It breaches both the Electoral Act and the Privacy Act. He shouldn't be using our intellectual property and our our, our property to perpetrate his private citizen opinions about members of the Conservative Party. You're still a member of the Conservatives? Absolutely. Right? Surely their brand is now tarnished. Why not just take well, yourself off? Well, I think we can survive once Colin Craig's been removed. I mean, there are some other king hits to come yet, and I want to send a challenge out to the people still supporting him. After all the allegations, there is more to come. Colin Craig has got more to hide. It's coming out, and it will come out. The Conservative Party and the leadership and the governance... Look, just remember, 11 of Colin's governing officials have resigned because of his behaviour and because we've seen the documented allegations about him that are still to come out. That should send warning bells and red flags to the party membership. And I'm saying You're saying tonight there are more allegations, serious allegations against uh, Colin Craig to come out. Yes, several of the board members have seen those documented that's why they resigned. Nobody resigned from this party because I spoke out in the media following other members speaking out. Colin Craig is untenable as a political leader of anything. But here's the weird thing. We've got a man who put his money where his mouth is. So essentially, can't you say that he was the person who started the Conservatives? So in a way, isn't, is, the Conservative Party is Colin Craig, in a way, I've never it? accepted that. It's always been about... I mean, Colin said at the last conference, I sit here as the leader at the behest of the board. The board suspended him from the party and he's been kicked out. Now but, you can't, but you have to accept the fact that Colin Craig and the Conservatives go hand in hand. When you think of the Conservatives, you think of Colin Craig. You can't get away from the I Colin Craig factor. I accept that point, yes. But there is a future for a Conservative Party without Colin Craig. And that's what I'm is trying there, to achieve. I think there is. Why yeah. do you say that was so 
such certainty given everything that's happened? Well, because our constituency is consistent. We got almost 4% in the last election. We got a very good result in the first election in 2011 when we'd only been going a couple of weeks. I, I mean, that shows that there is a hardcore conservative constituency in the New Zealand electoral spectrum. And that won't go away because of Colin Craig. They're committed to the principles and values of our party. All right, John, you say there's more serious allegations that come out. Uh, who will make those allegations then? And how will we know, when will they come out? Well, I know that the media have got them and they're waiting to release them. However, we're trying to resolve the legal issues around the confidentiality. Colin Craig wants to lift the confidentiality. Why hasn't he lifted it? What is he hiding? If he wants it, lifted it. He's already breached that confidentiality with Rachel McGregor. So my challenge to Colin Craig tonight is, Colin, just release all the information. If you're innocent of all these claims, you've got nothing to hide. You've John breached Stringer. it already. Appreciate There's nothing your time. to be lost. John Stringer, appreciate your time tonight. You're welcome, Chris. Thank you.